We're talking about Powerline. No, not the overhead power lines you see in the prairies and not the worldwide sensation Powerline from the Goofy movie. It's actually a super nifty product that's been around for years. Powerline allows you to use your home's electrical wiring to send ethernet signal. You can extend your home network as easy as plug and play. And of course, it's getting faster and more sophisticated as the years go on. So today, we're checking out D-Link's Powerline products. One is an ethernet extender and one is a Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi extender as we like to call it around here. It's actually Wi-Fi, don't listen to me. So first up, we have the Powerline AV2 2000 gigabit network extender kit and with the Powerline Wireless AC1200 Gigabit Starter Kit. Powerline AV2 2000 Gigabit Network Extender allows you to have an ethernet connection in a place that doesn't regularly have one in. For example, an older apartment building won't have ethernet ports in the wall, causing you to use a very long ethernet cord tucked into the baseboard then pulled around corners and God forbid, across a room. Or your option is depending on unreliable Wi-Fi for gaming, Yuck! Plug in the AV2 2000 and voila! Clear yourself from cords, reach rooms that are just too far and have a more consistent latency and no Wi-Fi drops. Want to set up your entertainment system at a place that's not near your router? Well, you can use the AV2 2000. The power line is fast enough for 4K streaming, a perfect fit to allow you to watch all your 4K tech videos. Hmm. Another great thing about these D-Link Powerline network extenders is you can D link up to 16 different AV2 2000 gigabit adapters and you only need one power line plugged into the router. You can bring ethernet connection to every room in your house without 100 feet of ethernet cables and lots of tripping hazards. These little power lines here can help declutter your life and be more reliable and faster than Wi-Fi. Now maybe you're thinking, hmm, ethernet is cool, but I'd rather have more Wi-Fi extenders than ethernet ports. Well, don't you worry guys, we got the wireless AC1200 and you can extend your wireless. This is perfect for basements or rooms at your house with a weak Wi-Fi signal due to distance from the router or thick walls. You can even plug it outside and enjoy your summer with Wi-Fi in your yard. Please note, this will not survive a summer storm, so bring it in with yourself. Now that you have an idea of the potential of the power line, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up. You'll have a better network setup in no time. Step one, connect the ethernet to the power line adapter and to your router. Make sure the power line can reach an unused plug near the router. Once you have it all plugged in, you will see the power LED on and the ethernet LED on. Step two, plug in the other power line adapter into an outlet. Now you can connect the ethernet to your second power line adapter and to your PC's ethernet port. After a few seconds, you should see the power line LED light up green to show you that they are connected. Note, you can have them plugged in close to each other for initial setup, then move it to the desired location. This will be more convenient and help you avoid troubleshooting that may be caused by faulty wiring. All the lights on indicating everything is connected? Your PC have a wired connection? Great, but there is one more vital step for this setup. Step four, secure your network. It's easy. All you have to do is press and hold the connect button, WPS, for two seconds on the first adapter within two minutes. Press the connection button on the second adapter for two seconds. The power LED will blink. Once it stops blinking, verify the LED is on for both adapters. You can now use the other power link as an ethernet port. Whoa! Wow, whoa. <laughs> wow, whoa. <laughs> wow, whoa. <laughs> Next, let's check the speed. Direct connection to the router, 300 megabits. We are using SHA-300. Powerline. 120 megabits, a high enough speed for any web browsing you might be doing and upload speeds stayed the same. Nice. Now, the Wi-Fi extender. We have two different devices here this time. One is the DHP W610AV, AKA the wireless AC extender with antennas. Ooh. And the DHP P610AV gigabit password adapter, AKA, you know, the thing that plugs into your router. Step one. Plug the Gigabyte pass-through adapter into the router and into an outlet. Step two, fully, and I mean fully, like extend the antennas and plug the wireless AC extender into an outlet. Turn the power switch on the side on. Power LED should indicate the power is on. If it doesn't, then it's not on. You gotta turn that switch, that's how it works. Now, before you can start using the Wi-Fi, you have to set it up. Remember, it's an extension of your current network. 
but it does work as its own SSID. So you must connect to the Wi-Fi separately. Okay, to set it up, you can find the ethernet connector on the wireless AC extender under the antennas and plug it into your desired Wi-Fi enabled device. If you're using a tablet to set this up, just connect it to the default config link on the Wi-Fi config card and follow the same steps. First time config, check the manual and the provided Wi-Fi card in the box and go to http colon slash slash dlink app. Insert Mac address here. Log into the Wi-Fi, admin and no password. Check the Wi-Fi card for your Mac address. Mac OS has a slightly different link. Check the manual. Once you are logged in, you will be greeted by the launch wizard. The wizard will instruct you to press the simple connect button for two seconds on each unit. The web page will instruct you if it worked properly and reset the unit. You will then have the option to change the name of the Wi-Fi and change the password. Note, if you do not have an existing power line network, make sure you set up security for the devices. Press the simple connect button after setup and hold for two seconds. And press the same button on the other unit within two minutes. Bam, secure, no power line snipers here. Wham, wham, wham. We have our basic Wi-Fi speeds from the router. It hits 300 megabits and with the power line AC 1200 gigabit, we hit 120 megabits. The ethernet extender and Wi-Fi extender provide similar speeds that are fast for anything you want to do with your internet. Big note, Shaw in Calgary just gave everyone a free upgrade to 300 megabits a few months ago before the speed was 150. So we're getting the same speeds as before the upgrade and it's definitely a great speed. Now, some best use practices. It uses your electrical wiring to connect your house. So there's some caveats. Make sure you turn the secure link on both types and encrypts the network and keeps you safe. If you don't do the simple secure link, you can leave it wide open for your neighbors to grab. Big yikes. Power adapters. Power adapters and surge protectors will not work with the power line products. You can technically plug them in and get a signal, but you'll be severely limiting the speed you can get. This is due to the surge protector filtering out the ethernet signal. You'll be in the best position if you plug it directly into the wall outlet. If you're still finding your speeds are slow, try a different outlet and make sure nothing else is plugged into the same outlet as the power line adapter. What do microwaves, hair dryers, and vacuums all have in common? Well, they have a high electrical signal and may cause interference with the power line devices. So avoid plugging in the extenders anywhere near these high power drops. And note that if you use a microwave and you're vacuuming, your internet may suffer. Make sure it's on the same electrical circuit. All outlets in your house are most likely on the same electrical circuit, but you might be in a situation where it's not. This may be the cause of your issues. Okay, friends, there you have it. Let us know in the comments below. This might be the ideal setup for your network at home. And I like to know all your crazy Wi-Fi names. Please share them. I need some fresh ideas because mine are kind of lame. So uh, anyways, MEXP, so you may have already seen it on our website, but this month we are giving away the ROG. Four PSU, the God of Thunder, 850 watt. We'll be doing an unboxing later this week. It's gonna be pretty sweet. It's an RGB godly PSU, so stay tuned for more on that video. Anyways, you know how MEXP works. You comment on every video this month for a chance to win the Asus Thor PSU. And of course, let's talk about the winner for February. It is wow, who boy, congrats, Ace 2020 Boyd. Thanks for watching. Woo! Peace out. And you know our social media. Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express and our Instagram, Official Memory Express. I'm Steve from Memory Express. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, subscribe, smash that little bell icon, and <sighs> yeah. Autobots! Ah! There we go. It's a robot. It's a transformer, robot in disguise. Confirmed in the studio. Happened here first. All right.